Hello, and welcome to the 2023 spring semester. As I do every year, I've just released a letter briefing our community on the state of the university. I hope you will take the time to read it in full. Three years after the novel coronavirus appeared on the scene, Princeton's residential scholarly community is almost fully restored to its pre-pandemic state. Our campus is pulsing with vital energy, personal interaction, and creative inspiration. As we enter 2023, we can once again devote more time and attention to fundamental questions about the university's values and future. Among the most profound of those questions is how Princeton and other liberal arts research universities should adapt to the challenges of rapidly evolving technology, including information technology and artificial intelligence. Computer science, data science, online media, and machine learning are changing how we read, write, learn, think, communicate, and socialize. They are altering the world's capacities and problems, and with those, the issues that universities must address to prepare students for the future and deliver the research that our society needs. In this year's letter, I reflect on the extraordinary impact that online media are having on our minds and society, and about how the new communications environment poses a fundamental challenge to our civic life and to truth-seeking institutions, including colleges and universities. Questions about technology's implications for Princeton's mission may be increasingly vivid and urgent, but they are not new. They were crucial to the university's multi-year campus-wide planning process that produced its strategic framework in 2016, framework that was updated in 2019 and will be again this year. The framework called for a collection of long-term initiatives by which the university would both address technology's impact and extend the principles that define it as a liberal arts university into the 21st century. These initiatives, now well underway, are reinforcing the excellence of Princeton's core teaching and research enterprise across multiple fields and in every division of the university. We are reaching more students from more backgrounds. We are opening the university up to more collaborations with academic and non-academic partners. We are enhancing Princeton's commitment to service, and we are increasing our capacity in engineering, computer science, and related fields. Speaking of engineering, I also talk at some length in this year's State of the University letter about our efforts to strengthen Princeton's School of Engineering and Applied Science. At Princeton, engineering is integrated into the liberal arts ethos of the university. We educate engineers who create and apply technology deeply informed by the insights and values drawn from the arts, humanities, and social and natural sciences. And because all of our students are encouraged to take courses in the engineering school, we can educate leaders in other fields who are competent and comfortable with technological issues. Of course, we can't contemplate the year ahead without preparing for a decision in the affirmative action case now pending before the Supreme Court. I end this year's letter with some reflections on that important topic. Racial diversity is essential to Princeton's academic and scholarly excellence, both because we need the outstanding talent that exists in every sector of society and because we value the learning that occurs when people with different experiences and backgrounds interact with one another. If the court imposes new restrictions, we must of course comply, but we will also be creative and persistent in our efforts to preserve and build upon the diversity of our scholarly community. That diversity is a source of great strength to this university, and it will be essential to our future and the future of this country. I am grateful to all of Princeton's faculty, students, staff, and alumni for the love, engagement, and support that you give to this university. I look forward to working with you to extend Princeton's distinctive liberal arts model to confront the challenges and seize the opportunities of a technological era that is reshaping our world.